here we have English ivy, which is a common ground cover found in gardens across North America. It's originally from Europe, Western Asia, and North Africa. English ivy can be identified by its dark green leaf and by these three prominent lobes. Technically a vine, as you can see here, it's used either as a vine or a ground cover. In dense shade, it thrives. Uh, even though it's been here for hundreds of years, it does not host any insects. And because of its adaptability, its ability to grow in shade and sun, and the fact that it doesn't have any pests or predators, it's done very well in our gardens. In fact, it's done too well, and so it spreads vegetatively across gardens and into natural areas that are nearby those gardens. Alternatives for English ivy include wild ginger, which is a native to our area, and running euonymus, also a, na a native. Unfortunately, those two are not evergreen, so you will not see them in the winter time. Uh, one native that is an evergreen that might be of interest to people is bearberry. It's a low-growing, uh, glossy-leaved native plant that stays green even in the winter time.